What's going on, everybody? You guessed it. You guessed it. It is your boy, Trey. Say it with me. 4K all day. Yes, sir. It is your boy, Trey Sins. Listen, we got a little bit of a review, a little bit of a discussion, because we got a little bit of a haul. First of all, happy Sunday, and I hope everybody is having a great weekend. For those of you who missed the big announcement, if you didn't see the parade, if you didn't see the... Uh, what are those things the airplane I had pulling the banner and the Goodyear blimp that said Trey's a pimp and has finally reached 4,000 subs? Well, we did it. And I say we did it because I couldn't have done it without you. We reached the 4,000 sub mark. Next stop, realistically, is 4,500 and then on the 5,000. And not only have we shot past 4,000, I think the last time I checked, we were at 4,050. So we're well on the way to 4,500 subs. So to celebrate, I did what frag heads do. Man, I, went, I went and bought some. I went and bought some fragrances. I went and bought some fragrances. I was sitting around and I was looking online, and I got the itch, and I was just like, "Man, okay, so let's go. Work hard, play hard. This is a hobby of mine, plus a passion, and any hobby costs money. That's just the way that it is. So, I made a phone call to my local Dillard's." I'm going to see if I can even read this receipt so I can find my seller. What is her name? What is her name? Is it on the receipt? Uh, no, it's not. It's not on the receipt. So, okay, let me get back on track. Because I was looking for one particular fragrance, and I saw the fragrance at Sephora. So I called over there and I asked, do you have this fragrance? And she said, yes. And I said, oh, and then as we were talking, she said, what's your name? Your voice sounds familiar. And I said, well, my name is Trevant. And she said, Trey? And I said, yes. And she said, I thought that was you. Yada, 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 conversation ensues. And she goes, well, let me get my phone because I told her they had it cheaper at Sephora. So she says, let me get my phone. So she looks up something and then she says, yeah, that's a smaller bottle. She says, but I'll tell you what, I think I can get my manager to give you 15% off. So I said, cool. I said, you work on the 15% and I'm out the door. I'll see you in a little bit, I'm on the way. So I pull up, go in, you know, and of course I do what I do, I get to looking. And they had several fragrances, several gift sets marked down probably from Father's Day. and. The store I'm talking about is Dillard's. Bear with me and I'll get to the fragrances. Um, I ended up getting, because of the last fragrance haul that I did in May, I ended up getting the 15% off that her and her manager gave me and then an additional 10% off. So a total to being total of 25% off each fragrance that I bought. So let's get to the first one. The fragrance that I went to get John Paul Gaultier's Lamal Elixir. This was the fragrance that I went to get. And this is a 4.2 ounce. And I'm, I'm aware that there are cheaper places to buy fragrances. Your boy is aware of that. I shop on Macari. I'll get some fragrances from there. I shop with Fragrance X. I shop with Fragrance Net. And there are some fragrances that I'll be purchasing from Joma Shop as well. Um, as well as dot I understand that but sometimes you have to get out build a rapport with people and you get discounts and sometimes you just have to support your local people that are around because they you know they care about you and you know and they appreciate you I appreciate the discount she appreciates the sales it all works out so I ended up getting this bottle, I think that was a hundred and some odd dollars. Where's that receipt? Let me see. So I can tell you exactly what the discount was. Where's the elixir? Where's the elixir? Okay. And this is the 4.2 ounce. And I ended up getting a total in discounts of what is that 
$22.80 was one discount and the other was $12.92. So what, $35, $45 off? Is that what that adds up to? Yes. Yeah, just over $45 in discounts on this one fragrance alone, which brought the total price of it down to 114 which I don't think is bad. And I did not see this on Joma Shop or any of the other sites. It may be, I didn't, didn't see it, but yeah, may not have gotten there yet. But 114 is what I ended up paying for the 4.2 ounce of Lamal Elixir. And you gotta realize this is a celebration. Like I'm going out tonight to celebrate hitting 4,000 subs. You gotta reward yourself, work hard, play hard, right? Do I like this fragrance? Yes. Am I glad to have this fragrance in my collection? Yes. I am still not a fan of these bottles, but they are what they are. Does this fragrance smell good? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Do I have fragrances that smell like this? I do. It reminds me of stuff from the Born in Roma line. Um, it also reminds me of some of the other Lamals. It's, it's spicy. It almost smells like somebody's baking something. It's got that kind of a vibe to it. A little bit minty, a little bit fresh, but again, it gives me sort of a gourmand, but it's not that sweet syrupy boozy gourmand. It's more like grandmama's cooking gourmand. But nonetheless, I like the fragrance and I'm glad that I got it and I'm glad that I bought it from where I bought it from again, because it's all about building Rapports and I work in local retail So I appreciate those that work in retail as well and it's just you know a good thing and again I ended up with as I stated $22 and 80 cents off and then $12 and 90 cents off bringing my total down to 116 and that 116 was after tax. So Yeah, I think yeah something like that. That's a pretty good price. So and as I'm making my way around, you know, looking to see what else I got, I could get, um, I stumbled up on two gift sets, not one, but two from a house that if you know me, you know, I love, and it's a Southern staple. Us, us guys in the South, we love polo. We just love polo. Um, and this fragrance has been on my radar. It has been in my cart on Macari. It has been in my cart on fragrance. Um, net and fragrance X but for some reason I ended up not pulling the trigger and I'm glad that I didn't so the two fragrances that I picked up that they had gift sets of were from the house of Ralph Lauren from the house of Polo it is Polo Blue Parfum and it is Polo Red Parfum and these were gift sets and the gift sets were, I think marked down to 90 bucks but after, after the discounts, I paid $72, $72.29. The first discount, which was the 15% off, came out to $14.18. The next one came out to $8.03, bringing you know, the total discounts to around $22 or $23, bringing the gift sets down to $72. And I checked joma shop before i did this video just to check and they happen to have gift sets and i think the gift sets on there were 70 bucks maybe 75 but they were in the ballpark and what i got with that is i got the 4.2 ounce and the 1.3 ounce and you know your boy is going to take full advantage so i'm going to keep this one and sell this one if i really wanted to be fancy i could keep this one and sell this one because this is probably going to be more than enough for me you know what i'm saying but i feel like it will be easier for me to get 25 to 30 bucks for this so if you're interested that's what we're looking at we're looking at 30 dollars uh yeah we're looking at 30 bucks for the reflon polo red perfume I always feel like, feel like I'm forgetting something. These fragrances have so many names now. So, Ruffalo and Polo Red Perfume. 
is it different from the rest of the polo reds it is it, it it really really is if you're the type of gentleman who likes a strong bold scent but at the same time you want something that's really really low key and just kind of lays under the radar i think you will like this fragrance it has a little bit of the sweetness that you get from the red line but it is much more mature, much more masculine, much more smooth, much more refined. It's just all around a great fragrance. It's a little bit leathery, a little bit spicy. It really smells good. I understand exactly what Polo was trying to do with this fragrance. Designer copies, niche, niche copies, designer, that's just the way that it is everybody clones everybody there's no originality i'm not saying that this fragrance smells like any niche fragrance out there but i'm saying the way that this fragrance is designed and composed that's exactly what they were trying to do and i personally trey scents personally think that they hit the nail on the head with this one i think they 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 hit their mark i do you get a little bit of a citrus that comes through with that with that warm spiciness. I definitely think this is a sexy fragrance. I definitely think this is a grown man fragrance. I don't think this is one of the polo reds that you're gonna find those young guys wearing. This is some grown man stuff right here. If I had to parallel it to any fragrance in my collection, I would think the YSL Parfum line like uh, what is that YSL Loam Intense yeah something like something along that lines slightly leathery that's exactly what it reminds me of, of of a fragrance like that so if you like that type of fragrance then you will absolutely love this and you can pick this bottle up for sixty or seventy dollars and it's not a bad price at all I got the gift set for seventy two and I am thrilled with that price. So from the house of, Ralph, and I think that's a great looking bottle. From the house of Ralph Lauren, it is, from the house of Polo by Ralph Lauren, it is Polo Red, the Parfum. And again, you can pick this little 1.3 ounce bottle up from your boy for 30 bucks and price includes shipping. All of my prices include shipping. Next. This may be the best in the Polo Blue line. This one may be the best in the Polo Blue line. I'm going to say it loud for the people in the back who going, you bullshit. No. This may be the best in the Polo Blue line. Right here. It just may be the best. And this is Polo Blue Parfum. And I have Deep Blue. I have Ultra Blue. I have Gold Blend. Uh, I have the original Polo Blue. I have the Collector's Edition. I don't have the Bear yet but i saw that sucker on drama shop for about 35 dollars the next haul i get ready to do that's what i'm, I'm probably it's gonna be in that collection all of these fragrances are really really well made i definitely see what these companies are trying to do in raising the quality of their fragrances i think we're paying more for them but they're, they're definitely a higher quality of fragrances than what we've been getting. Polo Blue Parfum. My boy JB over at JB Butters told me I needed to get this one because I had mentioned it. And he said, you got to get that Polo Blue Parfum. And he was right. This right here is so good. It, 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 this is nice. That's nice. That, that's pretty. And here's what I like about it. It has a little bit of sophistication, but it's not superly complex, but it's not basic and boring either. It has a little bit of freshness to it, which is what you come to expect from Polo or basically any mainstream designer. But you definitely come to expect with Polo. I am proud that Polo has, because like I said, at one time Polo fragrances was like, mm. but with 
the with the RAF Club releases, which I may add Elixir. I'm not sure. I have the EDT and the EDP. I may add the Elixir and the red and blue Parfum line and the 67. You know, Polo Polo stepped their game back up the way it used to be back in the 90s with Polo Sport and when Polo Blue first came out. You know, they've stepped their game back up. Now again, is this the reinvention of the wheel? No, it is not. But if you want a nice, crisp, clean, fresh, blue smelling fragrance with just a kiss of masculinity, then here it is. Here it is right here. And I think you can get a 50 mil of this, not a 50 mil, 100, the 4.2, 120 mil of this for 50 bucks. I think I saw it on Joma Shop, 50, 60 bucks. Not a bad price at all. And I definitely encourage you to get this one. Another reason why I like the Polo Blue line so well is it's just versatile. I mean, if you had nothing but Polo Blue fragrances, you're pretty set. You're gonna have something to wear in the spring and summer. You're gonna have something to wear in the winter and fall. Um, and that's where the Polo Blue Parfum comes in. I could definitely see somebody wearing this one more in the winter and fall. Now, can am I saying that you can't wear it in the summer? No, that's not at all what I'm saying. It's a year-round type of scent. I'm just saying it's a little bit deeper and heavier than Ultra Blue and the original Polo Blue. You get what I'm saying? Just a little bit deeper and richer. It's even deeper than Deep Blue. But just a great fragrance. Just a great fragrance. They're both really good fragrance. The leather in that, the leather and the spice in that Polo Red Parfum is coming to the forefront. It's coming to the forefront and I, I like that. Very, very smooth, very, very well made. Again, think YSL and that's, that's what this is. And if you have YSL, Loam Intense, that's one that you're not gonna need unless you just come up on it at a racehorse of a price, it probably would be redundant to buy it. If you don't have it and you're looking for a very niche quality, low budget fragrance, that's a good one to pick up. Yeah, that's, that's nice. That's really, really nice. That's really, really nice. And so is this, man. This this would be white. I know it's blue, but this would be white party approved. Again, wedding proof, office approved, you know, first date approved. Just versatile. Both of these fragrances I'm so proud and so glad to have in my collection because they are so versatile and they're gonna make so many of my videos. But again, keep in mind that you can pick up both of these from your boy shipped for 30 30 bucks that's gonna be hard to beat okay now when I got ready to check out so I had the two gift sets and and she had told me and it's funny I called JP for him to talk me out of it but he didn't so when I got ready to check out because I forgot about the 10% off or I didn't know about the 10% off I'm looking at my screen and she tells me the total and she's like, your total is gonna be three, 312 or something. I'm like, okay, that's about where I wanted to stay. So I'm like, okay. So I look down at the screen. She walks off to do something. I look down at the screen and I say, hey, I said, that's not, it's saying two, 280, hey, 280 something. And then she was like, really? And then she goes and looks, she goes, oh, you got a 10% off, something about a day pass or something, which is where the 10% came in. And I was just like, well, shit, send me something else then. So I got to looking and looking and looking and looking. And then I looked at the Tom Ford New R Extreme. Parfum, because I have the regular Tom Ford New R Extreme. And it was just a little too rich for my blood. Just wasn't in the mood to pay $300 for one fragrance. Even with the discounts, and with the discounts, with the 15% out, with the 10%, it would have been 30, and then another 15%, Damn, Trey, he might should have. It would have been just over 200. It would have been just over. No, it may have been just under 200. 
25% of 300? Yeah, it still would have been. So I just wasn't prepared to pay that. So I ended up buying something from Tom Ford anyway because I smelled this and I just was like, that smells good. That smells good. So what did I end up buying? From the house of Tom Ford, it is Black Orchid perfume. I know, it's a, it's a bright, bright bottle. And I'm going to give myself a spray of this. I just liked it. I liked it. I smelled it. I liked it. And I said, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. I looked around and, you know, I'm sitting there thinking, you know, it's $300 for the 100 mil. It's $200 for the 50 mil. And then I thought, you know what? You're going to get all these discounts. Put it on your dealer card. You have it paid off in three weeks. As you know, I get paid like three or four times a month. So I just divide it up. And three payments and it's, it's done. You know, it's that simple. But I smelled it. And I was just like, I got to have it. So... But we did it in two separate transactions because she was like, well, just go ahead and pay for that one first and then we'll, and that's exactly what I did. So total discounts of this one ended up being, let me find them on here. The first one, which was the 15% off, was an even $30. And then the 10% off ended up being $17. So a discount of $47. So what I ended up paying for this was $150. Now, I know, I know, on Joma Shop, I think it was $150 for the 100 mil. I get it. I understand. And I would prefer the 100 mil. But this... This is plenty of juice for me. And again, everybody won. She made another big sale. I'm happy. I got a Tom Ford fragrance that I was not, ex oh, my mic came off, that I was not expecting to get. And it just worked. It worked for everybody. Again, Work hard, play hard, build up a rapport. Now, about this Tom Ford, I think it's either listed as a unisex fragrance or it may even be listed as a woman's fragrance. But what you get is a spicy, slightly oriental, chocolatey, truffly. This one has a little bit of a booze note running underneath it. It is just a badass fragrance. When I smelled it, I was just like, I gotta have that. I, I, I gotta have it. I kept looking at it and I kept trying to talk myself out of it, but then I thought, bruh, go ahead on. Get it, so I got it. Now, as it dries down, does it feminine up a little bit? It does, it does. But is it a fragrance that a man can wear? Absolutely. Absolutely, because it's like it dips in and out. It's like one minute it's leaning a little feminine and the next minute it's leaning a little masculine. and feminine. It, it just kind of sways in and out. But at the end of the day, for me, it is that kiss of booze with that chocolatey, truffly vibe that it gives off. And I just love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. From the house of Tom Ford, it is Black Orchid, Orchid Parfum. That's nice. That's nice. Definitely pretty. It's definitely a pretty boy fragrance. I, I like that. 
I like and it. I'm shocked that I like it. And I was really shocked that I liked it when I smelled it, but it is what it is. Maybe this shows growth on me as a reviewer, or maybe it just shows that it's just a good fragrance. So, but that's definitely one that you'll want to look on Joma Shop or places like that for because you can definitely get the 100 mil for the same size as I did that one. But again, it's all about building rapport. The last time I was in there and I spent, I left out of there with so many gifts um, on my purchase. I was able to sell those. I think I sold one for 30 and two of them for 25. So that's $80 in real money that went back into my bank account you know, just in gifts. So I understand that you can, you know, save money shopping and on online and at different places. But sometimes, sometimes it pays to get out and um, build a rapport with some of the people in your in your area, in your community that work retail. It, it, it may pay off. So I know they have another sale coming up in August. August the 3rd and I'll have this paid off by August the 3rd just to go back in there they're going to do another thing where if you spend so much you're going to get a free fragrance and I think the fragrances that they're doing are Versace so I'm hoping to come out of there with Versace Eros which I have but again I can always sell it Versace well I actually don't have a big bottle of EDT so it'll be It'll be okay. It'll work itself out. I'll come out of there with gifts and I'll make the best out of it. So it is what it is. And even in this situation, I'll end up selling these two and get $50, $60 back of my money. I think I did the math on it when I got home. And if I sell those two 1.3s for $50, it brings the average price of my um, cologne down to because mm. I think all total it was all total everything was 450. So if I sell those for 25 each or 30 each, it brings it down to 390. So I mean it brings it down. It was like 90 something dollars, 90 something dollars per bottle. So that's hard to beat. So and I'm satisfied with it and I enjoyed it and it's fun. It's nice getting out, building a rapport with the people in your community that do the same thing you do. I sell groceries, they sell fragrances, so it all worked out. But again, we are celebrating 4K and we are on the march to five. But just wanted to show you my little fragrance haul and I thank you for a lot of this because I want to mention this too. The channel has been doing really, really well. This We're going into the third month and I haven't done this. I don't know if I did this at all in 2023. But we're going into the third or fourth month in a row. I want to say this is the third month in a row, but the fourth out of seven months that we're actually going to get some money from YouTube. And that comes from you guys watching and letting the ads play. So even if it's not me, just any YouTuber that you enjoy watching, liking the video helps, sharing the video helps and letting the ad run letting the ads run all of that helps your local or your favorite reviewer every bit of it helps because it helps generate revenue which gives us the opportunity to do things like this so i am more than thankful and more than appreciative of you guys because without you some of this isn't possible because when I get the money from YouTube, that's exactly what I do is I pay it on the fragrances. You know, like I said, you know, some of it will come out of my paycheck. Some of it will come out of this. So the more you let those ads run, the more you share, the more you like, the more you're active in the comments. Um, the more it helps the channel. Speaking of comments, we got people checking in from everywhere. We had some more people check in from Memphis, man, while they bumped that music, that, that music. We didn't have people check in from John. Yeah, this is me smelling like that. We didn't have some people check in from, from Germany, from South Africa. Man, Chicago didn't check in. I mean, just everywhere. Oklahoma didn't check in. Everywhere. 
everywhere has checked in, guys, and I, I appreciate that so much. I really, really do. So continue to check in. Continue to let your boy know where you're watching from. You know, I need some more Alabama folks to check in. I know I got some folks down in Talladega, down in that area to watch, but y'all check in. I need some Tennessee people to check in, other than Memphis. I need some Nashville people to check in. Wherever you're watching the video from, just tap in, let us know where you're from and everything like that. And again, I appreciate y'all for getting your boy to 4,000 subs, because again, it's, it's it ain't just me, it's, it's y'all too. So I appreciate y'all and Thank you for helping me, you know, be able to purchase stuff like this because $150, $200 a month goes a long way. So I appreciate it. All right, guys. I think the next video you're going to see after this one is going to be the weekly fragrance review and in rotation. So you'll get to see that. Um, and enough rambling. I'm going to get off, you know, because I got to get ready to go celebrate. I'm going to catch a movie and dinner to celebrate this 4,000 and this 4,000 sub plateau so i love you all may god bless you all again if you're interested in these two decants these two 1.3 ounce bottles let me know i still have the vain and naive available if you want that let me know and i still have Jim, uh, Gervonchi gentleman boise available in a hundred mil bottle as well if you're interested in any of those, let me know. If not, I'm gonna go ahead and post them on Macari. I'm gonna give you a few days and I'm gonna post them on Macari and see if I can't move them and then get some more money generated to buy some more stuff. All right, guys. All right, thank you. Love you all and may God bless you all. Until next time, guys. Peace, take care.